The Swarthmoreian Weekly Newspaper, true local coverage of Swarthmore, Wallingford, and surrounding neighborhoods, published since 1893. Welcome to this week's edition of HavenFootball.net's Play the Game. It was another terrific night for football as the 2-0 Panthers traveled over to Havertown to take on the 2-0 Haverford Fords. The Fords got the ball first and wasted no time going to the air as quarterback number 11 Tommy Wright finds number 5 Ethan Mahan for 18 yards. A few plays later Wright finds Mahan again for 15 yards down to the 3. And on the next play, number six, Christian Pergoli scampers in for the touchdown. The Fords draw first blood and lead seven zip. But the Panthers are determined to answer and quarterback number four, Sam Milligan, shows off his running ability on this 11-yard run for a first down. Two plays later, number 24, Chase Bartle gets the call on the reverse, then turns upfield, simply outruns the defenders for 52 yards and the touchdown. And we're all tied up 7-7. Haverford goes three and out, and the Panthers show their explosiveness on the first play when number 23 Matt Schuler takes it outside right, slips through the hole, goes to the sideline, breaks a tackle, cuts hard inside for 49 yards, and the touchdown. Haven takes the lead 14-7. The Fords go back to the air, but Schuler says not this time, batting the ball away and forcing the punt. On Haven's next play from scrimmage, number 32, Anthony Crawford gets the call and runs straight up the gut, but nothing's there. So he bounces outside, gets a great block, cuts back inside, breaks a double tackle, and takes off 50 yards and the touchdown. Haven leads by 14. But Wright has great legs and finds the gap as he goes for 16 yards. Two plays later, number 23, Colin Cassidy, speeds through a great hole for 13 yards. And then two plays later, Wright keeps it and speeds around the end, beating the defenders for 10 yards into the end zone. The Fords have pulled within seven. Disaster strikes on the ensuing kickoff as Barlow gets the ball at the eight, but fumbles the ball at the 30, and it's recovered by number 30, Matt McAndrews. The Fords smell blood and get down to the Haven 14, and at 4th and 2, Pergolese gets the handoff, but Crawford beats him behind the line for 3-yard loss and ends the drive. Barlow is up next and just won't go down as he forces this rush for 13 yards. A new Panther twist is this great halfback pass to Crawford for 20 yards. Three plays later, Speedster Schuler turns on another reverse as he streaks through the middle and into the end zone for 23 yards. Haven misses the extra point but leads 27-14. Wright goes back to the air to Mayhem for this great catch and run for 16 yards. The Fords are at the Haven 9 and Wright wants to throw it again but can't find anyone open so he takes it himself in this great scramble down to the 2. Wright takes it in on the next play. The Fords are now within six points. In the second half, the Fords go back to the air as Wright sends a quick pass to Mahan, who breaks Schuler's tackle and takes off for 24 yards, but the drive stalls at the Haven 25. Which brings us to tonight's play of the game. Schuler on the left wing. They fake it to him. Back to pass. Has a man out there. Sutherland is up behind the D. Makes the grab. A stiff arm inside the 10 and down to the two-yard line. Oh, two terrific fakes in the backfield. And Sutherland all the way to the three-yard line. 
After two failed attempts at the one-yard line, Crawford finally punches it in for the score. Panthers are pulling away, 35-21. But there's no quit in the Fords as Wright finds a wide open number 12 Colin Reynolds for 41 yards. Two plays later, Wright throws a quick pass on number 43 Justin Marciano into the end zone. And the Fords are one score away from tying this one up. Schuler takes it outside again and ends his 20 yard run by burying a defender who tries to tackle him. Crawford goes wide left, but the Fords are closing it off, so he quickly turns up field, slides by, puts his shoulder down, and forces himself into the end zone. Haven leads 42-28. Haverford launches an eight-play drive that finishes with this spectacular catch in the end zone as Mahan actually wrestles the ball away from number five, Chase Nangle. But Haven still leads 42-35. But the Panthers come back with their own nine-play drive, which finishes with Barlow going 27 yards for the final score. Haven wins 49-35 and is 3-0 for the season. Sam Mulligan was 5 for 8 for 92 yards, 5 carries for 62 yards, and a quarterback rating of 159.10. Anthony Crawford had 20 carries for 156 yards, 3 touchdowns, and three receptions for 42 yards, as well as 13 tackles on defense. Chase Bardo had 13 tackles, six were unassisted. Great night. Next week, the Panthers travel up to Harriton to take on the Harriton Rams. Tune in again next week for another Play of the Game.